Hey guys, what's going on? It's Boss with the Boss Coin YouTube, and today I'm bringing you an ASIC mining video on the Bitmain Ant Miner S9. So I'm here with Tails, Shiba Inu, and I'm going to talk to you about just how profitable Bitcoin mining has been in 2017. And a quick update on Tails' health. She's doing a little bit better every day. We're still on the road to recovery, but you know we're doing everything we can to get her back in tip-top shape. So Bitcoin mining. Is it profitable? Yeah, like crazy profitable. The people who got original Aminer S9s, if they set them up and just let them plug away and they just sat on their coins, cash cow. Absolutely cash cow. Same with L3 Plus. Historically on ASIC mining, if you pick up a batch one miner from Bitmain, and let's just talk 2017, you made good money. The only one that honestly was a total flop was the Ant Miner D3 due to Bitmain's ethics of pumping a massive amount of miners out. But the S9 and the L3 Plus, not the L3, also there. The L3s, you know, honestly, you still made out fine if you got an L3, but they kind of they kind of did you dirty by pumping the L3 Plus out so quickly after they released the L3. Anyway, point is, if you got an Ant Miner S9 in the beginning, you're cashing in big time. So let's talk about it. I ordered on November 30th. I paid about 1400 bucks shipped for my Ant Miner S9. Out of power supply, that's like another 150 bucks or so by the time you get shipping and you ripped a little bit off on conversion, maybe or whatever. So let's say 150 bucks for an Ant Miner power supply. You could also use a parallel miner PSU, but they're just like wiped on stock. So they're pretty much out of everything right now. Or you could use an ATX power supply, like a typical EVGA, say an EVGA 1600 watt, is going to you know get you situated. Granted, it's essentially two, three times the price of these server PSUs, such as the power supply offered by Ant Miner, their APW3++. What a terrible name. If you're interested in watching my review on the APW3++, here's my video on that. Go to a boss coin, search that, and you'll find my review video. In a future video, I'll talk about ASIC mining versus GPU mining. But again, let's focus. Let's talk about the S9. My S9 is mining me about 0.003 Bitcoin per day, and it is uh, December 28th right now. That comes out to on the current Bitcoin price. Bitcoin's at about like 14.5k. That's making me like 42 bucks and some change a day, which is a uh, Pretty phenomenal, honestly. That's a very impressive figure. I'll make my money back on this investment in just a little bit over a month at current rates. And quite honestly, I think Bitcoin's gonna start booming here again. There's also the whole Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash civil war going on right now. If you're wondering on my stance, if you care at all, quite honestly, I haven't picked a side yet. I'm kinda on the on the fence. I'm a Bitcoin purist. As far as I'd like to just see the original Bitcoin win, just because it's the OG and it just kind of deserves it. However, on the other hand, if Bitcoin Cash is going to truly be a better Bitcoin, well then I'll support the better one. Personally, I've set myself up to win either way. Again, we're talking about Bitcoin mining in the Ant Miner S9. Come on, man. So, you know, it's mining, it's maintaining the projected hash rate of 13 and a half tera hash. So I'm getting 13 and a half terahash mining Bitcoin. That's the SHA-256 mining algorithm, which is basically the big ones are Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. I did mine Bitcoin Cash a little bit just to check it out. But right now I want to acquire a little bit more Bitcoin to just even out the number I have. So I'm focused on mining Bitcoin right now. And I like mining the main coin. Sure, your potential with mining Bitcoin Cash is much greater but it's just a little bit of a more, uh, it's a bigger bet, which is fine. Absolutely fine to take that bet and it's ultimately gonna be what you decide to do. So I'm mining Bitcoin on slush pool and that is the OG of mining pools. It's a very reputable pool. It's one of the larger Bitcoin mining pools and I'm making almost double what the calculator says I will, which is odd. And I tell you guys time and time again, don't live and die by these little calculators. Get in the game. Build a miner, buy a miner, live this. Do it yourself because a lot of people get burned by false hopes on these profit calculators. And a lot of people 
don't jump in the pool. They just put their little toe into that calculator like, oh, it's kind of cold. Jump in the pool, man. See if those calculators are right because very often times I make out better than the calculator says I will and it doesn't factor in future growth and all that kind of crazy stuff. Bitmain shipped me my Ant Miner S9 about a month before I was supposed to get it. Not because I'm some YouTuber or I get special treatment. They're just shipping out of schedule, which is unusual. Which to me is quite honestly almost a red flag. Because that probably means that they're shipping this out so they can make more to ship more out. Bumping that network hash rate up and up. Again, you know, you buy these ASIC miners and you just have to hope and pray that these coins continue to grow because I will guarantee you that they will continue to build these miners. So if your coin doesn't grow in value and they continue to build, produce, sell these miners, then your miner will become less and less valuable. One of my top questions is really just about the S9 if I recommend it and stuff like that. I absolutely recommend the Ant-Miner S9 right now. It's dominating the you know Bitcoin mining market. When someone else comes out with a better miner, if, when, who, wherever, why, you'll probably have already made your money back on the Ant Miner S9 by then. That'd be my bet. I mean, I, I literally just took that bet. So don't think I just talk about this stuff. I'm not one of those channels that just reads specs on the internet and spews off this all this speculation stuff. Guess what? I live this stuff. I want to talk about the Ant Miner S9. I bought one with my own money. And it's running in my farm, and it's an investment for me. So I'm truly living, seeing, doing this stuff and I hope that that adds true weight to my opinion here and with that my opinion on the S9 is that it's a good buy and I would buy it up to three grand. You notice I said what I got mine for and depending on what prices you've seen and when and maybe you just found out about Bitcoin mining yesterday and you saw the most recent S9 batch from Bitmain you'd be like dude that's crazy how'd you get that low of a price. That's what it was going for when I bought my Antminer S9 Bitcoin was ten grand. Then when they sold their last batch, Bitcoin was like 16 grand. That's a very big difference in you know what this miner was doing then and what it's doing now and just the overall profitability. Again, you know, everything changes. You'll notice the whole market's kind of in a correction right now, but it's really booming compared to where it was last month, which is just crazy. So anyway, I buy the miner up to three grand personally. You could buy it for more than that and very likely, you know, do well. But at that point, I don't think you're uh I just wouldn't do it. I'd rather buy into a coin if you're going to spend that much on the S9. And ultimately, if you want to get into mining, I would advocate building a GPU rig. Check out the channel. I've got like a ton of mining rig build videos. And I actually have a mining rig build going on right behind me right now. I'm working on a new uh, 1080 Ti build. Am I happy with my purchase on the S9? Absolutely. Is it making me money? As of right now, per what I bought into it at, it is my most profitable miner. Sure. ASICs are the most profitable. One day your ASIC is going to be absolutely worthless. One day that 1080 Ti will still be an amazing gaming GPU and possibly mining GPU. So again, there you guys have it. I have my S9. On average, I'm mining about 0.003 Bitcoin, which is making me on today's prices about 40 bucks, you know, give or take. That could go, you know, down 25%, up 25%, whatever. And I'm happy with the miner. I'm very happy with the price I paid. I also used a coupon that Bitman gave me. It was like 125 bucks, 150 bucks off my next order because of when I ordered the Antminer D3 because they basically sucked, especially because I was a first batch adopter of the Antminer D3. So I paid like three grand for that thing. And guess how much it makes today? Even after Dash has basically tripled in the last month, it makes five dollars a day. Whoa. One thing I didn't cover on the Antminer S9, it uses a roughly 100 bucks a month in electric, so you can expect to pay your electric bill if you just factor in your crypto price in about two to three days, which is a very uh, respectable, respectable number there. The miner right now is pretty high uh, energy usage, but very high profitability output. So again, you know, we're here to party with the miners in the uh, Boss Coin Mining Cave. I'm here with Tails. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna have some more Ant Miner S9 videos coming up, a video on ASIC versus GPU, a video on this 1080 Ti build, a video on how I've reshaped my farm, uh, which is gonna be my next monthly update, and all kinds of other videos. So this is just gonna be crazy, fun, exciting content, just packed uh, month, really a whole year. I don't really plan to slow down at all. 
So again, I'm kind of rambling a little bit in this video. Sorry about that. I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to subscribe to the Boss Coin YouTube channel.